up next, Michael Glasner. We talked to him on Friday, and he hit. He had pretty good reason to seem a little bit road weary for what he'd been through the last day. Yeah, he tried to stay over in Europe for a little bit longer, compete in a few more World Cups, get a, try and get a few more points to help qualify for the Olympic team. He was good in the trial jump earlier today, 94 meters just behind Bickner, but he's got a lot to make up here because Bickner just threw one down. Lester trying to pull down the hill. Another huge jump and a great landing as well. So he's gonna make up some ground there with the style points. See what the distance is, 98 and a half, so equals Kevin Bickner's jump. Now you are not surprised to see Bickner do well. Were you surprised to see Glasner do this? Glasner's so powerful on the takeoff, he gets a lot of height. And so, you know, this is really a hill that suits him quite well. He was the normal hill national champion in 2005, so he has experience. And that, that was a great jump from Glasner. When you combine in the style points, we have a new leader. He knocks Kevin Bickner down to second. Knocks Bickner down. He had a little bit better conditions than Bickner, but he also got a little bit better style points as well. So that's going to put him in the lead. And this is the man who starts, or after one jump, was in the lead, Michael Glasder, who went 98 and a half with the first jump. And Glasder heard what Kevin Bickner just did, so he knows he's got less than a meter to play with, so he needs to be in that 98 and a half, 99, 99 and a half meter range if he wants a chance to go in front of Bickner. Very strong off the end. He's got a lot of height trying to pull down the hill. I don't think that's going to do it as a very nice jump, but I think he was just a little bit too short. Nin must have been around that 97 meters or so. 98, so it's going to be very close. It's going to depend on style and win. Glasner didn't have much room for error there. What you see with his style there through the air? Air was very good. He didn't have hardly any movement. Landing was pretty good as well. So he's going to get good style points. It's going to be pretty close, but I think Bickner is still going to have it. Kevin Bickner just came up with a 100-meter jump, and where do they stand now? And no, Glasner goes into the lead here with a small marginal lead over Kevin Bickner.